Blacklist Season 9 may be the last season forever. Here's why. The Blacklist's current season has been a dramatic one, with Liz Keen, played by Megan Boone, turning against her former mentor, Red, James Spader. That season, however, is coming to an end on NBC, with an episode that reportedly is said to be the last for Megan Boone. Here's what we know about whether the show will continue for season 9 without her. Also, don't forget to watch till the very end to find whether the Blacklist season 9 may be the last season forever. Will there be another season? The show will continue on without its female lead. In January 2021, NBC announced the show was coming back for its ninth season in fall 2021, though there are some changes in the case of the blacklist and one thing is going back to normal. After moving to Wednesdays in the back half of its current season, the show will return to Friday nights this fall. When episodes will air at 8 p.m. ET, 7 p.m. CT on NBC. The release date for season 8 has not been confirmed by NBC yet, but based on previous seasons, it will return in either September or October. This season, the show has been consistent in the ratings, with average viewers of 3.3 million per episode, though that puts it 10th out of the 19 scripted shows on NBC this season. For Deadline, the show is a big performer among catch-up audiences and on streaming services. Megan Boone Leaving the Show in June, it was announced by Deadline that Megan Boone was leaving at the end of the Season 8 finale on June 23. This means that Spader, Diego Kladenhoff, and Harry Lennox will be the only original cast members when the show returns for Season 9. This news came as the show revealed that Liz was number one on the titular blacklist, while Red revealed that he was M13, despite she has been hunting for. The Deadline article said the Season 8 finale was Boone's last as a series regular though this does not rule out that she will return at some point in the future. Boone hinted at this when she told TV Insider she has an abiding loyalty to Cooper, wrestler and Aram. Her friendship with them is something she will never walk away from, no matter what path her life takes. Speaking of the current season finale, meanwhile she teased, Rhett asks something of Liz that she isn't prepared to fully take on, despite a lot of pressure. She's trying to come to terms with her moral compass. Not the only major loss. Megan Boone won't be the Blacklist's only major loss ahead of Season 9. Series creator John Bockenkamp, who has served as a writer and executive producer for all eight seasons, this far is also departing. I wanted to write you directly to let you know that I've made the difficult decision to leave the Blacklist. Bockenkamp told fans in a tweet on Thursday, I love this show with all my heart, and it's been an incredible journey. But after eight years, I feel it's time for me to step out of my comfort zone, try something new, and explore a few of the other characters and stories that have been crawling around in my head. Bockenkamp went on to detail his mixed emotions about exiting the NBC drama, adding his gratitude for the show's devoted fans. I am likely biased, but the Blacklist fanbase is not only the most dedicated and ravenous in television, but a whip smart and hard as hell to fool. He continued, you are the lifeblood of our show, and it's your enthusiasm that leaves me feeling more than anything grateful. I genuinely believe the series remains full of life, creatively strong, and that bright days lie ahead. Bockenkamp's announcement comes just hours after The Blacklist aired its season 8 finale, which, spoiler alert, killed off Elizabeth Keene and Boone's final appearance as a series regular. The episode also dropped the biggest clues yet about Raymond Reddington's real identity. Is he actually Liz's biological mother, Katarina Rostova? But stopped short of ever explicitly revealing the truth. TV Line readers gave the finale an average grade of B-. Boone posts her farewell. Ahead of Wednesday's finale, Boone posted her own farewell to the show on Instagram, and Bockingham praised her run on the blacklist in a tweet writing, You have been an incredible collaborator, a tireless partner, and I couldn't be more proud of what we've built together. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for this incredible ride. Here are some news that have the possibility of running for pretty much forever due to a combination of consistently great producers, top-level talent, combined with the name or reputation of a show and or it coming out at the right place and the right time, there is a good chance that a popular series can see multiple seasons without fear of cancellation. But is The Blacklist one of those shows that will ride off into the sunset on its own terms, or is it ending in 2021?
Is the Blacklist ending in 2021? No, it's been renewed for season 9. The Blacklist will get another batch of episodes for its ninth season that'll carry on into 2022. The decision to greenlight a new season was probably an easy one for NBC, as per TV series finale, season 8 reached nearly 39 million viewers across linear and digital platforms with around 1.2 million live viewers per episode. Will season 9 of The Blacklist be when the show finale ends? The series has consistently been getting great ratings, not to mention the tons of viewers who check the show out on streaming services. In fact, Netflix paid a record-breaking amount for the show, about $2 million an episode, which speaks to the immense popularity of the series and its far-reaching viewer base. But all good things must come to an end, and sometimes, showrunners will decide to have a series go out on top and move on to another project instead of just playing it out until they jump the shark, so to speak. Speak. But will that be the case with Season 9? According to president of Sony Pictures TV Studios, Jeff Frost, that won't be the case. In an interview with Deadline, he seemed confident in keeping both the Goldbergs and the Blacklist on the air for a very long time. Our hope is that both series would continue. There has been no conversation about it being the final season for the Goldbergs or the Blacklist. We haven't gone into this being the final season. Our hope is that there will be many more seasons of both shows, Frost said. However, some fans of the show doubt if there's really that much more story to tell given the fact that many high-ranking members of the Blacklist have been revealed. Will showrunners just take the series in another direction? It's entirely possible. They've managed to keep viewers engaged for this long, so it isn't crazy to imagine that they can come up with more than a few new plot points and storylines to carry everyone over into Season 10 and beyond. Drop all the current thoughts on Liz social media reactions. And just judging from social media reactions and discussions around the series, it appears that tons of folks are still talking about the blacklist. So maybe Frost will get his wish after all. And there will be tons of more seasons to come of the popular NBC series. When showrunners are deciding to pull the plug on a TV series, there are usually some telltale signs. It might start with scheduling changes where new episodes are made to air at strange times like a Sunday morning or during the graveyard hours when the only people watching are folks who are tired of staring at infomercials. Some hints. But there are other hints that audiences often pick up on, which is why many fans of The Blacklist worried that their beloved NBC series was being cancelled. First and foremost, we need to get the obvious out of the way. COVID-19 has hit a variety of businesses that aren't Amazon and Zoom especially hard. And this is very, very true of film and TV productions. The large number of people required to be in a single space while filming anything makes social distancing extremely difficult, then there are a ton of new health and safety protocols that need to be implemented. COVID-19 tests for everyone involved with shooting, catering businesses also need to follow new guidelines. The number of people allowed in closed sets have to be policed. COVID-19 compliance officers need to be hired, etc. This has invariably caused delays in filming everything, even the most long-running and profitable shows including The Blacklist. Plus, the series is primarily shot in New York City, which had a comparatively high number of COVID-19 outbreaks to deal with compared to the rest of the country, which is why regulations were most stringent when it came to filming. Fans knew that the large-scale production was being delayed and feared that NBC may have temporarily or indefinitely pulled the plug on the show as it's fairly expensive to produce. With that, we come to the end of today's video. Don't forget to join in next time for more of such interesting content.